Hi, I'm Kirsten Matthews. I'm the head women's ice hockey coach at St. Anselm College. I'm going into my ninth season here. My first job out of college was actually working for a company called Cintas. I sold uniforms, I uh, cleaned uniforms, and I got in a truck and delivered uniforms. What I like most about St. Anselm College uh, is the family atmosphere, the fact that you've got some of my players, in fact, their parents went here or their aunts and uncles went here. I think there's, the, with the Catholic piece of it, I think there's a real sense of family. Um, it's a small campus. I think the students kind of find this to be their second home away from home. What brought me to St. Anselm College was the opportunity to get a head coaching job. I was at BU for five years before I came here. Um, probably one of my most memorable pieces when I was interviewed here was actually Donna Guimont. Um, the fact that she had such passion for this place and really saw the potential of what St. Anselm College athletics could look like. So between her and Ed Cannon just really selling me on the family atmosphere and everything that it had to offer here. It was a it was a really good fit for me. My favorite memory from coaching here is probably pretty personal. Um, I actually won my 100th win as a head coach at Williams College, and I didn't realize that the players knew because I tried to keep it very hush-hush. Actually, the SID here at the time also was trying to keep it really hush-hush. I'm a very superstitious person, and mm -hmm. so I felt like this could be something that could jinx my chances, if you will, or take longer. Um, and when I walked in the locker room after the game, all the girls knew, and as we were getting off the ice, they were ecstatic for me, which I think is, is meant a lot to me. Well, I have a three and a half year old and a five year old, so <laughs> I would say everything I do outside of here is really relative to them. I recently participated in a quiz to ask your five year old, what does mom do when you're not home? What does mom like to do when she's not with you? Things like that. And apparently, according to my five year old, it's all relative to hockey. So <laughs> when I'm with them, I'm with them. When I'm not with them, I'm doing hockey. <laughs> I actually was in corporate America for Gosh, for a while before I got into coaching full-time, I was doing it part-time. Someone said to me, they really need more women coaching women. And a friend of mine came to me and offered me the opportunity to run a camp, women teaching women. And I loved it. And because I did not, my head coach at Providence wanted me to get into coaching. And I said, no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to work nights and weekends. <laughs> so I wound up um, coaching really for fun. I just to give back and then the next thing you knew I thought if I really wanted to make a career out of this I, I needed to do it at a, at a young age before I got used to making corporate America money. So <laughs> that was sort of how I got in there, just sort of the love of the game I guess, it never leaves you. My favorite professional sports team would probably have to be the New York Rangers. All time favorite professional athlete I'm going to go with Cam Mealy. My alma mater is Providence College and I majored in management. I spend my time on bus, bus trips doing video with my earphones in so I don't have to hear anyone. The last movie I saw was The Jungle Book. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest athletic achievement as a coach, I would say, was winning um, the NBA tournament back-to-back. -to -back. I would say as a player, I scored the game-winning goal to win the Mayor's Cup at Providence.